Well, thank you for staying with us. Welcome back still on Career Talk and on Goal Setting. We are just from discussing the four questions that are paramount that you need to ask yourself for you to, to help you set your goals. That is, who am I? Who am I becoming? How do I become? And when? Mm -hmm. uh, those are the questions? Yes, yes. Okay. If so you are I'm serious pulling. to your life, uh, eh? you must ask those kind of questions. You right? must ask those kind of mm, questions. Because uh, becoming mm. somebody... It's a process. Mm -hmm. It's a process. It's a process. So yes. that's why young people who are listening to us, mm -hmm. you know, they like patience. Mm. Because some they want to become rich within a few days, few years. Some they want to become, you know, uh, famous in a few days. But mm -hmm. that one cannot happen. Mm -hmm. It is a process. Okay. Take when time. we celebrate these people who are prominent, mm -hmm. sometimes let us go and search. You know, some they started 20 years ago, 30 years ago, 15 years ago, and now they are very famous, maybe pursuing their career. Mm -hmm. So that's why we want to advise young people are listening to us to become somebody that you want. You must be patient and go through the process, mm -hmm. and yeah. for sure you will become. Amazing. Yes. And now, how do you, how do you strategize now? How do you uh, create strategies towards your goals mm -hmm. to achieve them? And number one is to know your goal, what do you want. Mm -hmm. That's number one, key number one. You know, I've, uh, I've talked to young people, some they are through high school, and they don't know whom they are becoming. Mm -hmm. like, in fact, you know, about them, I'm going to be a you know. So you must know what kind of a goal that you want to pursue. Okay. What kind of a career that you want to... It's very important. That's number one. Mm. Number two, you must uh, do what? You must um, uh, break those goals, in, uh, big goals into small goals. Break them down. Uh, because, it, you know, success is a process. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it's a process. You move... Maybe you pursue your certificate, then a degree, uh, then a master's, then a doctorate. Some they start from a degree. You want, you know, you break them into into small, uh, what we call portions. Huh? Okay. Yes. So if I want to be, a, if someone wants to be a journalist, that mm. is their goal. Mm. So how do they break that down? No, that one it will depend. You know, uh, your career. And the grade maybe you scored in high school. Maybe if you were able to score an entry grade to university, you start with a degree. Maybe if you had a C plus and below, you start with a diploma. Mm -hmm. Do you see? Yeah. But nothing can stop somebody from becoming what you wanted to become in life. Mm -hmm. You can start from... That's why I've, I've been telling young people, you can convert your grade into something. Because there are young people, several young people are listening to us, uh, Kenyans and all over the world, maybe you did not score an entry grade. Mm -hmm. Now you call yourself, I'm a failure. There's nothing I can do. But that's not the, the truth. Mm -hmm. You can start. We have people today who are doctors, but they started from certificate, certificate. diploma, and uh, you know, that's why you must break it into small goals. Okay. Uh -huh. Another thing, you must assess, do assessment. I, I, I always, I've been talking about setting goals even in other stations. I tell you people, assess your goals. Mm. Maybe after one year, maybe after two years, or after three months, do you see, you assess. I've been, when I talk to principals in high school, I always tell them, you know, assess, assess your, 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 your maybe the mean that you wanted to score. You assess, after, if, if you want 10, and uh, maybe within one year, after three months, you do assessment. After three months, you do assessment. After three months, is, you do assessment. What is the purpose of the assessment? Is to see uh, whether you are stuck or you are moving. Mm -hmm. Do you see? Even in our personal life, sometimes if you are normal, you must do assessment. Okay. Am I progressing or am I stuck? Mm -hmm. you, even an uh, assessment of your, your finances. Yeah. Am I wasting my money or, you know, I'm using my money well? Am I progressing with my career or I'm stuck? It is very important. If you are serious with your life, you must do that. Mm -hmm. Because assessment, it will help you to know your weakness and your strength. Okay. Yes. All right. Mm. So now, after the is there anything else in, the stra in setting the strategies? Yeah, setting strategies, once you have set your strategy, you need an help. Mm -hmm. there, there are some goals that you can't achieve by yourself. 
That's why we need a mentor, mentors in life. Mm -hmm. Do you know? There are people who have, who have gone ahead of us. Do you want to pursue your career? Yes. That's why, you know, uh, when I talk to people who pursue career, and somehow they are stuck. What always I advise, mm. go to somebody who is, who is mentoring you, who is your mentor. Okay. Because every one of us, any course that you want to pursue, you must have a mentor. You must have somebody that you admire, somebody you can mm. go to, who has gone ahead of you to advise you. You need to figure out, because you need to find even, even, even. Do you see? Mm -hmm. So even this goal we set, sometimes we cannot achieve by our own power, so, you know, by our own strength. Yeah. So you need somebody that you can talk to, somebody who can inspire you, somebody can talk to you. Do you see? Mm -hmm. Yeah, because it's very important. Okay. Yes, there are some and people who are stuck today because they have no person to guide them. Yeah. Okay. Guidance is very important. All right. Yes. And you had mentioned earlier about timelines, having timelines for your goals. Mm -hmm. Tell us about this. You know, if uh, you don't have, uh, you don't set your timeline, mm -hmm. what will happen? Mm -hmm. Listeners will mm -hmm. occupy your heart mm -hmm. because <laughs> you know there are people today something they were supposed to achieve within one year because of laziness. They don't have what timeline. Okay. You know, timeline it will push you. Okay. It will inspire you. It will make you to wake up early in the morning. It will make you not to waste your time. Mm -hmm. Do you see? Yeah. But imagine, unataka kujenga, unataka kusoma, na una wakati. So you relax. But when you know your timeline, unasema, one year from now, there's something I will do. Two years from now, there's something I will do. Ten years from now, there's something I will do. So what will happen, you will never allow yourself to waste time. Okay, so you won't be a procrastinator. Yes. Okay. Yeah. Procrastination comes when you don't have what you call timeline. So say, you say, ah, I will do it so tomorrow. I will do it tomorrow. I will do it tomorrow. In fact, when you want to do something and you have set a goal, you mm. have a timeline. It's very important. If, if it's, it's a company, we are going all of Africa within one year, then this one will make you to come up with a strategy. Mm -hmm. Do you see? Maybe I want to make this a million, two million from now. Mm -hmm. How? I want to become a professor. How? You want to become a doctor? How? I want to write a book. I've, I've, uh, I've done 10 titles. And every time I want to write a book, Nazema, we, we, maybe seven months from now, I want to come up with a new book. Mm -hmm. So it, it will push you, do you know? It will make you not to sleep. You will wake up very early in the morning. Maybe sometimes you sleep late because there's a time rain. Okay. But when you don't have a timeline, that's why even people, you know, there are people, sometimes, you know, mm. maybe at a which hour, because you don't have a timeline, you know, think of 45, you know, think of 50. By the time you are at 15, you are like, oh, I, you know. I forgot. Oh, you know, you know, 10 years, 5 years, mm -hmm. I will be somewhere. Okay. This one will make you to, uh, you know, to get motivated. Right. Actually, it will motivate you. Uh -huh. Yeah. So, so time is very important in whatever you want to, even in mm -hmm. a career. Maybe you have graduated today with your master's mm. and you want to continue with your studies. How long? Maybe you have graduated with your diploma. How long will it take, you know, to start another? Uh, you go for further studies, do you see? But if you relax, and the only thing I, I always tell people, when you are at a comfort zone, you will never move. Mm -hmm. So uh, setting goals, it will push you to move out of the comfort zone and, uh, to, you know, to, to work hard. Okay. Yes. Now, uh, let me now take you to... What happens now if your goals don't align or don't come to be? So how are you supposed to deal with failure? Because it happens. You have set a goal, but you have not been able to achieve it for one reason or another. Yes. How do you handle that? You know, success sometimes is moving from one failure to another without losing hope. Mm -hmm. Do you see? Without losing hope. Mm -hmm. So what happens is this. if uh, you have been encountered with uh, maybe failure in life, Mm -hmm. You are not supposed to lose hope. You persist. One, the first thing that you are supposed to do is to do assessment. Why have I failed? Okay. Be truthful to yourself. 
maybe ukajaribu hii biashara ukajaribu hii cause ni kama cha fahuru you must ask yourself why because there is a reason do you mm -hmm. see mm -hmm. so from there you have learned a lesson you know failure will give you an opportunity to learn a lesson mm -hmm. to do it well mm -hmm. do you see let me talk of an example uh, i've talked to young people about career Unapata kwamba somebody is through with university and they have stayed outside for 10 years, 7 years because he chose a wrong career. Now you know sometimes that's what happens. Eh? Yes. Maybe some days uh, we will come and talk about career. Because unapata kwamba mtu ako through with the university na ako, ako inje. Ana kuliza, what can I do now? Mm -hmm. Imagine I'm through. Maybe some, some uh, young people, they just, this bogus uh, uh, courses. Courses are not in the market. So Napata is hopeless, there's nothing he's doing. As I'm, uh, that's why many, you know, have indulged themselves into drugs. Yeah. Because we imagine somebody has wasted four years and ambiwa ya kwamba because you refine your kupata kasi ningu ningumu. You you are supposed to encourage yourself. Ask yourself, what can I do? Mm -hmm. There are many young people I've, uh, I've talked to. And be my trust was in journalism. And be why don't you then go if your parents are able? Go and do it. Mm -hmm. We have seen people doing that. You know, you can rebrand yourself. You can give your hope to yourself. You know, you are not, once you have failed, you are not supposed to stay there. Rise up and they do something. Okay. That's what we are telling young people. We know we are talking to young people who are hopeless or have failed several times, but I want to tell them this. Never give up. Don't give up. Never give Rise up. Rise up. Rise up. Rise up. Oh. Don't give up. Okay. Rise up. There's no room to give up. Yes. You fail many times. Learn a lesson and they continue uh -huh. with the journey. Okay. Yes. So this, I want to now uh, bring in the place of bring in attitude. What is the place of attitude in this? Because to rise up every time is means that you have a resilient uh, attitude towards uh, where you're going. You know, attitude is a feeling towards something. Mm -hmm. That means if it's a feeling towards something, you can change. Do you see? Okay. Because the, <laughs> the difference between success and the f uh, failure is the attitude. Do you know? There are people today who have uh, called themselves failures. Mm -hmm. They have branded themselves. Mm -hmm. But they are not supposed to be. It's because of the attitude. And the attitude can change. That's why I said, you know, attitude is everything. How do you feel about yourself once you have failed? How do you feel? You see, uh -huh. you are supposed to remain positive. Mm -hmm. Where you tell yourself, yes, I have failed, but it's not the end. I will continue. Mm -hmm. You see, yeah. some of us, we have failed in one way or another. I can give testimonies, I can talk. Uh, we have failed, but we have refused. There was a time, you know, 2007. Oh, that must be. Yes. Okay. But mm. you know, we encourage ourselves. We said we will continue. We will continue to pursue our dreams. Mm -hmm. Here we are today. Okay. I'm talking to somebody who is feeling there's nothing I can do. Mm -hmm. I'm a failure. I want to tell you, change your attitude. Rise up, you know. Better days are ahead of us. Okay. Yes. Better days are ahead of us. I love that. Yes. And you mentioned something in your post. Uh, you will never go beyond your thoughts. Mm -hmm. That is still on attitude. So yes. how you think of yourself really matters. Yes. You know, thoughts are very important. Mm -hmm. Do you see today where you are? It's because of your thoughts. You thought about it and you said, one day I'll become a journalist. Do you see? Indeed, yeah. We are product of our thoughts every day. Mm -hmm. Do you see? Yeah. That's why we always tell people, be careful what you are thinking every day. Mm -hmm. Do you see? Be careful. If you can change your thoughts, mm -hmm. you can change your destiny. Mm -hmm. Because thoughts will, the way you think about yourself is a motivation. Okay. And you can change. And one, one, uh, one way that you can change your thoughts is to start speaking. Mm -hmm. You talk. You say I'm blessed. Uh -huh, you I'm say going it. far. You speak positively to yourself. You yes. speak to yourself positively. I will continue because there's power in words that you speak every day to your life. Okay. Yes. All right. There's magic power. So you say, I even maybe but this is not the end. I'm rising. I'm becoming somebody. Mm 
-hmm. One day people will admire me. People will talk about me. Yeah? Mm -hmm. I'll become famous in my area. Maybe you've chosen in your profession, mm -hmm. you know. But if you start thinking negative every day, you will be stuck. Well, ah. when I'm but always they tell people the way you think even about your country where you are living the way you think about your profession mm. do you okay. see because but if you say you talk positively and you say i'm blessed i'm becoming somebody mm -hmm. you fight those let me tell you negative thoughts will silence your success Okay, that's a good one. Negative thoughts will silence your success. Hashtag why in the morning by <laughs> Pastor yes. Jeffrey, yes. Yes, okay. that will silence your, your success. Mm -hmm. Because every day you think, you continue thinking about, you waste your energy thinking about uh, how bad you are, the mistakes that you are making every day. I always tell people, you know, even if you make a mistake today, you can rectify. Mm -hmm. There is always a room, there is a second chance for everybody. Okay. You can rise. You can maybe rise we are talking room. to people who made maybe several mistakes. Are okay. saying, "Oh, I'm done." I'm saying, "You are not done." You, you know, they rise hope. up, change your thoughts. Start the, another thing. You talk, then you act. Mm -hmm. You talk positively. You say, "I will do something." Nidi answer but I will do something. So you talk, you act, you produce result. Okay. Do you you see? talk, you act, and then you produce the result. Yes, you produce result. Mm -hmm. mm. Right, what, what you talk, go ahead and do it. Okay. I'm pursuing my career. Go ahead. You know, some people, they talk, they talk, they talk, they talk. I, I will do it. I will do it. Mm. Oh, but one year, two years, three years, four years, five mm. years. Uh, that's why I always tell people, do something mm -hmm. be and, and become somebody. If you do something, you become somebody if but if you do nothing you become nothing if you do something you can become somebody if you mm -hmm. do nothing you become nobody nobody okay. you become nobody at all okay mm -hmm. amazing and mm -hmm. I'm, I'm seeing your book here i have a book from uh joffrey he's a pastor and also a mentor uh it's written the amazing re uh, results of self-discipline mm. how to have the necessary willpower to start and finish your goals mm. and I'm, I'm just i'm looking at this i'm saying self-discipline it's correlation with goal setting yes you want to tell us about that yes mm -hmm. if you lack self-discipline you know self-discipline is to discipline yourself mm -hmm. and uh, you know the road to success is self-discipline the road to success is self-discipline. Without a discipline, you will never be successful. Mm -hmm. Because success and the discipline, they go together. They together. go together. Do you know? Mm. There are people who have been sucked from their jobs because they lack discipline. There are many students today who have been just away from school because of lack of discipline. Mm -hmm. Are you seeing? There are men today who are poor because they lack the discipline in finances. Are you seeing what I'm saying? Yeah. So, uh, discipline is everything. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Because right. discipline will help you to, to achieve uh, if your goal. Uh, and by, you know, uh, lack of discipline, it will hinder your success. Mm hmm okay mm. very insightful yes so uh, as we as we wind up on this how can people get to if someone wants to purchase your book on uh, you have many books you've written you've authored many books uh, the, yeah i've ordered the 10 books eh? but mm. sometimes we deliver if somebody wants a copy mm -hmm. we we can we can send it to you okay so how how can people contact you my, this is your camera yes my number is 0720 043 mm. 620. You can go to my Facebook page, Chofri mm -hmm. Yongwai, and there's another one of my company, Chi Talks and Mentorship. I have two uh, pages on uh, Facebook. Ah, all right. Chi yes. Talks and Mentorship. Is uh, well yes. Okay. Maybe somebody has a company, you want somebody to come and talk about uh, setting goals, uh, changing of attitude, even a school or an institution, mm. uh, they can invite me because that's what I do almost every day.
Okay, you said yes. inspiring people. Inspiring to, people. It's my to calling. Achieving their goals is your. Dream. Yeah, I've been to banks, equity bank. I've been to commercial bank, like corporate bank. They have invited me when they go out. Okay. So to to talk to that, especially even even I've written even a book about on stress management. Amazing. Managing your stress. And maybe it's we'll a wonderful talk about book. One day I will come with it. We will talk about it uh, one day. On how to manage stress because mm -hmm. it's killing people. I it's tell you. True, very true. Yeah. And people need to know, to find ways of managing it and living a healthy life. Healthy life, yeah. Okay, so what is your final word? What word do you want to give the youth who's watching you and uh, struggling through their career or setting goals? Maybe they set something and then they're not uh, able to pursue it or see it through. So what is your word for them? This is your camera once again. As you now, come to close. Uh, I want to talk to those young people are listening to us this morning. Never lose hope. Mm -hmm. Whatever you want to do, persist. Persistence breaks resistance. Continue doing it. Never lose hope. You will become somebody. I want to encourage you. You can arise. You can become somebody. Never, never lose hope. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you have a great future. You can create. In fact, I've written a book about creating your future. It's a wonderful book. Amazing. You can create your future. Don't worry. Mm -hmm. Yes. Thank you. Thank you very much for coming on board. Thank you for inviting me. You're uh, inspiring the young people out here. Yes. All right. So but that has been Mr. Geoffrey Ongwai, who's a pastor, a mentor, a motivational speaker, a book author. And I hope you've been inspired by this. A take home is that negative thoughts silence your success. And if you do something, you become somebody. If you do nothing, you, you become nobody. Nothing. This is some of the insightful things that he has mentioned. In, uh, in the conversation that we've just had. So we bring this conversation to a close, but Ram Aguko is coming up with youth and politics, a discussion that you don't want to miss. See you on the other side. Thank you so much.